The Prime Minister and the Castries East MP reiterated calls to end stigmatization against individuals based on their socio-economic status and place of booth. Prime Minister Philippe J. Pierre was on hand to gift the winners of the annual mathematics competition and those who excelled at the 2024 CPEA. It was a marathon. It shows the competitive nature and the caliber of students that we have in Castries East. You know, see? And it also shows, and this is why I am always against stigmatizing. Stigmatizing people because of where they are, they, they, they are born or where they live. I live just across the road. I live just across the road. If you look out there, you'll see where I live. And with the help of the people of St. Lucia, I've become the Prime Minister of St. Lucia. So anybody here, anybody here can do it. Prime Minister Pierre encouraged parents to keep pushing their students to aim for higher heights. I want to thank the parents. And what was remarkable this afternoon is the parents and the guardians and the relatives of the participants were here this afternoon. Parents, give us a round of applause. Because the parents and the guidance, that is what will, will ensure that these young people reach the highest that they want to reach. The honoring ceremony and mathematics contest aim to celebrate academic excellence while also striving to spark interest in the subject. The Castries East MP vowed to continue the initiative as long as everything is in place. In my job, there is a lifespan. So, I have been lucky. My lifespan has been from 1997 until now. That's been my life, my, my life, my life span. I don't know how long it will be again. I know there'll be another test coming on in, the, in 2026. I don't know what's happening after that. But once I have the strength, once I have the vigor, I will ensure that this math skills continues into the distant future. The first prize winner of the mathematics contest received a laptop, a backpack filled with school goodies, a trophy, and a monetary contribution. I feel great. I was nervous at first, but I'm happy now, like very, very happy that I won. I'm very thankful for the sponsors, especially the Prime Minister, the Honourable Philip J. The second and third place winners also received monetary contributions, trophies and backpacks with educational supplies. The 16th annual academic honoring ceremony and mathematics competition was held under the theme Honoring Young Minds, Shaping a Great Future. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.